in this video, we will create a material consisting of four images. Uh, let's start with a cube. Uh, add the first material. I will use iron for this. Just use the middle wheel to rotate my object so I can see what's happening. Uh, go into the image settings. We have to change the mapping to vertex to make it wrap nicely around the cube. Um, we can just scale it up a bit. it's easy to see what we're doing. Uh, as you can see, we have no shadow on the object. Uh, to add shadows, we need to add a material to the object. It's only materials that receive light information from with an artist. So now we can go to the lights and we can add different lights to get different. Uh, so we have lights on the scene as well. So let's start writing a more complex uh, texture. Let's add or blend this material with another material. First thing we do is we group. We can press Control G or we can press this button. For this one, I will use the old material. Uh, to make it possible to make a blend, I have to change the unit setup of this one. This one has unit 1, as we can see up here. So my next one, I will change to unit 2. And I have to press the inheritable button to make the blend possible. Again, I change my mapping to vertex, so I get the image wrapped around my cube. We have six different ways to blend the image. These are called environment in the image property. Uh, the default is modulate. As you can see, you can change to blend. Blend inverts this image before it mix it with this one. Decal we will use for the last one the fourth image of us so that get back to modulate takes the colors of what of the image and limit the RGB values to the uh, colors in the other image so it will produce a quite dark image add takes the RGB values for both and just add them together so it will be very bright and it might be if you have two bright images, this will just get white. Add signed uh, is the best for for now. Uh, it keeps most of the of the image set to modulate, which is this one. You see, this set to modulate, and it take this image and according to the brightness it make it uh, make an alpha so the darkest part of this image is kept and I think also if it was very bright it will also be kept so then yeah the middle tones 
it promotes the prosperity. So here we seems to keep the color or darkness also from these two images. Last alternative is interpolate, which gives us the blend factor. So you can select how much of each image should be visible. This you can also animate if you need to create a blend from one image to another. We'll use add sign for this one. Uh, let's add one more material. Now we can create a reflection. Select this container, press Ctrl G, and I find a nice reflection map. And add it to the container. Change the unit. Oh, we got the three, and inheritable. Uh, the mapping for this one should be reflection. So it seems like we have a big sphere around the object which sends the reflection into the object. If I rotate now, you can see the reflection image is standing still, uh, like just like a reflection. Uh, again, we change the environment to get the different effects. If you want an extremely shiny object, you can use add. Add sound is also making it very metallic. I think we'll use interpolate for this one. And just change the blend factor. you just get the effect when rotating. You can't actually see what image it, it is. Um, then we've used three of the units, and we have one more. Let's see if we can we'll just add an image with an alpha channel. Again, change unit, inheritable to make a mix with the others. This one will also be set to vertex. Uh, as you can see, now it blends them. It used the alpha, but it blends the texture, so you get the orange mixed with a mix of these three images. I want to keep my logo as it is and the rest of the cube as it is. Then I can use the environment decal. As you can see now I have my cube and I have my logo. Uh, I can scale my this texture, of course you can do that with all your textures. Uh, now I just get lots of Visity logos. That's because my wrap is set to repeat. If I change this to clamp, I will only get one image and then it will end. So then I have created a quite advanced texture consisting of four images to create this object. Uh, of course, it could be smart to go into sort and check out the geometry the render time, you can see 
uh, which object in the scene will take the most render time on my cube uh, with the, the blue image and this material will take more than 50% of my render time if you go to texture size you can check how much of your texture memory will be used for this scene and if this is also only a small icon up in the corner maybe you could create smaller texture to not waste too much of your memory so that's it for creating uh, materials for consisting of several images.